Hello and welcome back to the Kingdom of the Duke. Uh, we are back in Valheim. We're going to continue our build of the first town that we are building. And this is in the Meadows biome. Uh, we started with the inn in the previous episode. I actually wanted to try and finish it, but uh, we were interrupted by a raid. But yeah, as you can see, the two trees behind me has uh, fully grown. Um, so we're going to chop them down real quick and I want to see if I can get the logs uh, to uh, lay down in the spice. Uh, before we continue with the end. Uh, thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the build. And uh, it is pretty interesting. It is exciting to actually be busy with this. So uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy this with me. So uh, the, oh yeah, the challenge is actually not to let this tree actually land on top of the house. That could work. I'm going to leave the stump there and uh, let's see there we go yeah, don't roll away please okay now this one might be a little bit too long so probably gonna have to split it in two there we go and uh, now Now we need to get it into that space. Okay, that one is sitting over there. So let's move this one. Don't break, don't break, please. That is the challenge. Do not break the logs. And now let's see, how am I going to move this out of the way? I'm probably going to have to try and move it around the stump. So with a lot of fanfare, I finally managed to get them in there without them breaking, which I think was a miracle in itself. But uh, that will do for now, uh, just to complete this picture a little bit, with the stumps and the logs of course laying down there. So, back to the inn. And yep, we need some stairs here at the front. Got enough resources. Oh, that was the wrong button again, as usual. My apologies. And uh, let's get that into place. There we go. So, this is the entrance to the end. We're going to have some two rooms, maybe on that side, and then uh, eating, drinking space down there. So we were busy with the roof, if I remember correctly. And uh, in terms of the roof, I actually want to keep it the same style as the one that we 
used over on this side. So what I'm going to try and do, and that's the wrong button again. That's what happens when you play a lot of games. Let's see if we can get this just about right over there. And over there. Yeah, that will do. Okay, I think let's uh, first go to the two rooms that we want on this side. We're probably going to have to take it up. Like that. Let's get a floor underneath first. Before we're going to have to struggle with that again. So when you do use the stairs, you're not uh, looking at the grass. And we might have to go up one more. Okay. I'm going to fill in the space underneath because I'm not sure what's going to show actually on the outside yet. I haven't decided how I'm going to close off the building for this piece, so let me close this off just in case it becomes harder to do later on in the build. I might even use a larger piece right here. No. Let's go with that for now. Okay, so that's going to be the floor, the height of the floor for the rooms. Um, now, do I want the rooms to come over onto this side or not? I get the feeling I should keep that apart. I think that would be wise. So we're going to keep that apart and the room is going to have that corner or... Uh, maybe we'll want to come out one more. To maybe there? Or is that too far? That could still work. Yeah, that could still work. There's still enough space here f for people to move through. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can close this off at the bottom as well. Gonna have to use a smaller one for this side. Okay. Now the rooms don't have to be big. Um, it's literally just a bed that you're going to stay over on in uh, for the night. So if you've played Skyrim, I think you know what I'm going for in terms of the rooms. That would suffice. So you will have a bit entrance over here and that will be your room. So we're going to do the same on the other side. Um, let's just get the support done here. Yeah, the smaller one probably. So the same on this side, it's going to be 2 by 3.
Now, what I'm thinking of is there's actually enough space underneath here to do maybe something else. But uh, only one high is a little bit small there. Very tight space. For instance, we can take out this wall, have some stairs come down. Excuse me for a moment. Okay. There are some still of the enemies around, as you can see. But, um... I have to say, there is a lot of raids going on lately. Not sure if some of my settings have changed or not, but... Uh, it's really a lot. And it's interrupting my building. Um, so maybe I should uh, see if I can get some fortifications around the town and just move it as is necessary. Okay, back to the building. So I've brought down this th these stairs just a little bit and I'm going to see if I can get rid of the grass real quick uh, by using the pathway. So I'm not moving any ground up or down. Just like that. That'll do. Let's bring down some more supports here. And over on this side as well. and get some flooring in. Okay, so let me share my idea real quick. So the person is going to be working at the inn also needs a place to sleep. So this little part down here is going to house their bed, their bedroom basically where the innkeeper will, will sleep. I think that is going to work just fine. So, in terms of a counter, maybe we can do something, uh, something like this. Let me put it down, and then the single pieces. Let's see how we can snap this on. Ever so slightly to create a counter just like that there we've got the counter the person can stand here receive his the guests and have a bedroom down here perfect all right now to close this all off uh, let's uh, stay with the upper part first the bedrooms that will be for rent Okay, it's going to have two doors. Let's use the wooden gates as doors. It's fairly big. We want them to open that away. And we will... Have the walls like that. And also on top of it. There we go, so this is the hallway, and those will be the bedrooms. We're going to create a sort of a window right over on this side by leaving a gap open there. So in here we will close this off the normal way by building some walls. 
like that and then we need to cup it up but uh, we probably have to think about the roof first before we try and uh, see what we can do here and uh, immediately I'm actually thinking about um, having the roof lower on this side of the room than on the other side so if we were to do something like this I think that could work then we can close off a little bit of these walls on the sides as well maybe have it like this with a small window on that side like that and like that there we've got some two very nice windows um, but of course the problem is on the outside it looks a little bit of bland so we said we're going to try and keep with this theme. Um, well, let me look and see if we have these ladders. There. That's looking better. Uh, but I also want to change the top a little bit. So I'm going to add these parts in there just like that so keeping with the theme on the other side there we go that will be the top of the roof and uh, still need to figure out the, 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 this middle part and yeah, maybe We can just go straight up and straight down and we will give it the same top as that one and uh, makes it look like it's got a little bit of a different levels because the one is a little bit higher than the other one I think that can work question is what are we going to do with this little space right here something is attacking my boat hold on for a second will you and we are back to building okay so the question in terms of this space right over here what are we going to do I was thinking of maybe doing something like that and then just close off the top with these pieces. Mm. Not really that big a fan. Maybe we could put in something like this. We're going to need Ashwood for that, though. And we know that Ashwood is not something we have a lot of. So maybe something more... Oh, that needs tar. But that could also work. I think I've got some tar stored away. Indeed I do. Just the four. That should be enough there. Yeah, that's the wrong one. I need number six, please. 
There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right. Uh, let's get the balls up in here, the same on as on the other side. Okay, so for the next move, I need to get up on top of that roof. So let's get some stairs coming down. Okay, I've run out of wood, so I need to go and get some more. But before I do, let me just run you through um, what's happened here in terms of the roof real quick. So I'm trying to get these to actually flow into each other. So I'm probably going to try and put a small beam in there just to close that gap a little bit yeah maybe two of them one on each side that should do the trick and then this one I've just continued with some normal ceilings and what I'm gonna try and do in that gap is actually place the small half wall in there that should do the trick as well Okay, so let me go and get some wood first and uh, then we can continue our in. Okay, I've slept through another night, so it is the next morning. And um, I can already see some places I'm going to have to do some touch-ups on the outside. I still need to put some ladders on the other side of this roof and uh, let's see if we can do that right now um, maybe start over there and build our way up yeah, just about there there we go Sounds like he's back again at right at my bird in the ears. Okay, as I was saying, let's close off uh, this part real quick and see how far we can actually do this. Just like that. On this side, we're probably going to have to start uh, with the bigger wall pieces
So let's close this one off as well. Probably need to put in the floor first. Like that, we're going to need a wall in there. There we go. We're going to close off this space as well. gonna put in some shelves just like that and we now just need a roof for this little part so maybe I can go like that and that And maybe we can leave this part open for a bit of a window. I think that could work, but um, maybe we should close it. There we go. Closed. And we also want to put that in there. And as we said over on this side, two small ones. There we go, that looks so much better. And that is the rooms for the inn. We've got this walkway of two small little rooms that can be rented out. Some nice woodwork, thanks to the lumberjack next door. That's room number two. Uh, should we fill in these holes as well? Just to keep the theme. Uh, but I should probably do this from the outside just to make sure they follow the same pattern. Mm, okay, so it needs to be turned around like this. There we go. That will do nicely, I think. All right, then just some trimmings around the edges. Right there. Uh, right here, there's one missing as well. Maybe we should uh, place... Yep, it just breaks it a little bit for us. That will do, I think. The roof looks the same. Okay, so that leaves us with the drinking and eating area, which is going to be on this lower deck. Um, I've just killed one down there that was attacking my boat, and now there's another one. This is going to be constant, isn't it? This is down. All right, so let's start with taking away some of the grass. We're going to use the path again, just to make sure there's no grass actually coming through the floor. Without changing the floor itself. Sorry, sir, but the inn is not open yet. Okay, we need to close that back because as you come up the stairs, you don't want to be looking at that grass over there. 
So, can we get full walls in here? That's the question. I think we can. There we go. Alright, so for the floor, um, I'm not exactly sure how much space I need or want for this to work. Now we're going to need to change this a little bit. So I'm going to take my pickaxe and just... There we go. So I think that's as far as we can go this way. Now we're going to have to uh, take the building over to this side. Now it is maybe a bit of a problem in terms of where we actually want to go or the shape of the building but maybe we should try and make an L shape where it actually hugs itself around this way so this then we can use this wall as the inside of the wall along this side so if I come over like this that should work. Let me just clear out the grass again. Yeah, I think that's I think that's going to be look good. So um, we'll make this part of the building. walled off how far can we go we're going to have to remove some of these dirt with the pickaxe again oh, that didn't land right there we go that's better and then this small part there we go Oh, that's fine. All right. So in terms of the flooring, I think we should go out at least one more, maybe two more. Although this can be the kitchen, come to think of it. Um, but I would still prefer to make it at least three wide then. Two is a little bit... Too narrow. So let's go for three. We're gonna have to add some supports real soon. So let's do that now before everything collapses on us. So you will come in here, there's going to be some space to sit, eat and enjoy yourselves and then there's going to be this small little kitchen over on this side. Um, maybe we can draw in some inspiration of some of the little bit more modern kitchens in terms of a serving counter. So if I were to take that one out. little bit of a serving counter all 
And then, it, of course, we're going to need to close off this as with a roof as well. But uh, I was thinking of doing this slightly different. Um, because it is going to be fairly big. Yeah, the wall is going to come over here, so I'm going to have to remove those parts. I can work with that. Alright, that's the height I'm going to go. Uh, what I'm going to do from here is actually use some beams to create some sort of A-frame uh, that I can work off. Uh, off, let me see. If I do it like this, and then basically just continue this on the inside, Maybe that's too many. This is going to be slightly in the way, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let me think about this. Maybe I should turn the stairs um, and let them come down from over here. Maybe land there, but that's going to be right in front of this window. So maybe we should move this window over to this side. We want this to work so let's remove this real quick and now we don't need to do anything there in terms of that um let's put down some flooring it needs to be the same way like that if we bring the stairs down from there I'm gonna remove this part go like that mm. it's still too much in the way Unless, of course, I make this single file. As I said, sir, the inn is not open yet. Then I can actually use this beam as part of the wall, maybe. Either that or I'm going to use... Uh, the steeper one. Now where's the halfway mark? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. To, it needs another one at the top. And from there, it can now start coming down. Uh, we should probably put down a wall on this side first. bottom one is misaligned that's where the problem came in there we go that's better and then the same on this side taking it up I had it there we go Hey, 
Okay. Now that's pretty high. Now I think to make it feel a little bit more cozy, I'm going to use a horizontal bar from this side all the way over to this side. Yeah, I think that can work. So if we need now need to fill in this these spaces um, with roof pieces. Then it's going to look something like this. And now that we actually have the steeper roof, we might as well change these again. So take that down stairs only on the one side. Um, this side is going to be closed off. And we're going to have maybe something just to form some part of a railing. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And I think we should maybe just uh, place some caps on these stairs. Like that. Okay, but then there is the issue of this massive opening over here and we're going to use this inverted piece that we've been using a lot. Like that. Okay, so far so good. Um, let me see if I can I continue this this little part over here just like that maybe. Mm. I don't really have a piece that can actually go into that opening. Except if I use it like this. I suppose that will have to do. And um, then we can leave that uh, triangle open at the top. We still need to change the roof a little bit to make it look a little bit more like this style, of course. So let's head on over to the top real quick. And there goes the hammer. Okay, so let's continue. Not like that. Not like this. Okay, I've run out of wood again. 
but uh, at least we can still do some of this with the fine wood. Oh, this is slippery. There we go. Okay, but I think that is as far as we are going to get for today. Now, you will see I have not close off this wall yet but that's on purpose I still want to try and get a fire pit in here uh, on this side before I close this part off um, but I think we've made some pretty good progress we still need to do the kitchen on this side um, and also decorating the inside here with the fire pit as well the stairs I think came out pretty nice we can put some cakes or uh, any storage things in, in that little corner. We've basically finished the receptionist area in, in terms of the building itself. We've got a little room down here for um, whoever runs this in. And then we've got the two rooms here at the top that can be rented out for people to sleep in. We still need to put in some beds and storage and uh, chairs and stuff like that. But so far so good, I think. I might actually cap that little space off. Maybe. Uh, otherwise I just need to put in another piece there that goes up. But so far so good. Yeah, well, thank you for joining me. Uh, we are not done of yet, of course. The inn still needs a lot of attention, but uh, we're going to leave that for the next episode. Thank you for joining me, even if we had another raid, which was pretty easy, but at least we, so we could uh, do a lot of building. And uh, we are looking forward to do some more. Try to put on some uh, finer details, finishing touches to the inn, um, uh, with the roof as well, and of course the side. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video if you did and subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you in the next one. But until then, enjoy.